Have you ever gazed up at the night sky, felt a deep connection to the cosmos, and wished you could capture that beauty? Welcome to Adisla's Astrophotography Ultimate Guide. Astrophotography is more than just a hobby. It's a thrilling journey that allows you to immortalize the wonders of the universe. From the shimmering Milky Way to distant galaxies, astrophotography opens a door to exploration and creativity. Whether you're a beginner eager to learn or a seasoned pro looking to refine your skills, this guide is your gateway to the stars. Let's kick things off by understanding the different types of astrophotography. Each category presents unique challenges and rewards, and knowing them will help you decide where to focus your efforts. Wide field photography is perhaps the most popular style, capturing expansive views of the night sky, including star fields, the Milky Way, and celestial events. The beauty lies in framing these cosmic wonders against interesting landscapes, creating stunning contrasts that draw viewers in. Next is planetary and lunar photography. This approach focuses on capturing detailed images of our celestial neighbors, like the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. With the right equipment and techniques, you can reveal intricate details often unnoticed by the naked eye. Finally, we have deep sky photography. This category encompasses capturing distant celestial objects such as galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. This type of photography requires specialized equipment and longer exposure times, but the results can be awe-inspiring. Throughout this guide, we'll explore the techniques and tools relevant to each type of astrophotography, ensuring you're well-equipped to embark on your cosmic journey. A successful astrophotography session starts long before you step outside. Here's how to set yourself up for success. Your camera is the heart of your astrophotography setup. While any camera can technically capture the night sky, some are better suited for the task. DSLR and mirrorless cameras are the most versatile options, offering manual settings that allow for long exposure shots, essential for capturing faint celestial objects. Full-frame sensors excel in low-light conditions, but even entry-level models can produce impressive results. If you're serious about deep-sky photography, consider an astro-modified camera. These cameras have had their infrared filters removed or replaced, allowing them to capture wavelengths of light that standard cameras typically filter out. This modification can significantly enhance your ability to capture nebulous beauty in the night sky. Dedicated astro cameras are another excellent option. These devices are specifically designed for astrophotography, often featuring cooling systems to reduce noise during long exposures. They work best with telescopes, ensuring optimal results for your deep sky captures. Next, let's talk about lenses and telescopes. Your choice here will depend on the type of astrophotography you're pursuing. For wide field photography, a wide angle lens between 14 millimeters and 35 millimeters with a fast aperture, f2.8 or lower, is essential. This setup allows you to capture expansive views of the sky while letting in more light which is crucial for stunning night sky shots. If you want to hone in on specific celestial objects like the moon or planets, a telephoto lens, 70 to 200 millimeters or higher, is your best friend. This lens enables you to capture distant details without sacrificing image quality. Even if you start with the standard kit lens, you can still take beautiful photos. Just remember that you may face limitations. For the dedicated astrophotographer, a telescope is the ultimate tool. Refractor and reflector telescopes, when combined with a suitable mount, can provide unparalleled clarity and precision for deep sky photography. Apochromatic refractors are especially prized for their color correction, ensuring that your images are both sharp and vibrant. When it comes to astrophotography, a stable mount is crucial. Tripods are the first line of defense against camera shake during long exposures. Investing in a sturdy tripod is essential to keep your shots crisp and clear. If you're interested in tracking celestial objects, a star tracker is invaluable. This device compensates for the Earth's rotation, allowing you to take longer exposures without the risk of star trails. A star tracker can elevate your astrophotography game, especially for deep sky shots. For more advanced setups, consider an equatorial mount. These motorized mounts are designed for telescopes and offer precise tracking capabilities. They are ideal for long exposure imaging, 
ensuring that your subjects remain in focus even as the Earth spins beneath you. To enhance your astrophotography experience, several essential accessories can make all the difference. Filters are invaluable tools, particularly when battling light pollution. A light pollution filter can significantly improve your images by minimizing the impact of urban light. Consider investing in one to boost the quality of your shots, especially if you live in a city. Having a computer or mobile device equipped with astrophotography apps can also be a game changer. You can opt for traditional software like SharpCap, Nina, or APT, which offers various features to assist in capturing stunning images. Alternatively, the ASI Air from ZWO is a popular choice among astrophotographers for its user-friendly interface, though it's important to remember that it works exclusively with ZWO cameras. A remote shutter release is another crucial accessory. It allows you to trigger your camera without touching it, preventing any potential shake. If you don't have one, your camera's self-timer can serve as a useful alternative. For capturing time lapses or long exposure sequences, an intervalometer is invaluable, enabling you to automate multiple exposures effortlessly. A red light headlamp is also a must-have for any astrophotographer. It allows you to adjust settings and navigate in the dark without ruining your night vision, making your time under the stars more efficient. Lastly, always carry extra batteries and memory cards. Long exposure photography can drain your camera's power quickly, and you don't want to miss that perfect shot due to a dead battery or full memory card. With your gear ready, it's time to delve into the essential camera settings for astrophotography. The right settings will help you maximize the quality of your images and ensure you capture the night sky's beauty. Focus is critical in astrophotography. Since autofocus struggles in low light conditions, manual focus is necessary. Set your lens or telescope to infinity focus, then utilize live view or zoom in on a bright star or planet to fine tune the focus manually. This step is crucial for achieving sharp images of celestial objects. Your lens's aperture setting is essential for light gathering capability. Using a fast lens with a low f-stop number allows more light to enter your camera. For wide field shots, start with an aperture around f2.8 or wider. This setting strikes a good balance between sharpness and the ability to capture faint details in the night sky. Shutter speed plays a crucial role in astrophotography. To avoid star trails in wide field images, employ the 500 rule. Divide 500 by the focal length of your lens, adjusting for crop factor if you're not using a full-frame camera, to determine the maximum shutter speed in seconds before the stars begin to streak. For example, with a 24mm lens on a full-frame camera, a shutter speed of about 20 seconds, 500 divided by 24 equals 20.8, is ideal. If you're working with a longer focal length, your shutter speed will need to be shorter to avoid trails. In deep sky astrophotography, exposure times can vary significantly, ranging from several seconds to several minutes, depending on the object and tracking accuracy. Experimentation is key to finding the ideal exposure for your subject. Set your ISO between 800 and 3200 to start. A higher ISO increases your camera's sensitivity to light, but can introduce more noise. Modern cameras handle noise better at elevated ISOs, so you might need to experiment to find the best balance for your specific camera and shooting conditions. Now that we have the gear and settings sorted, let's dive into the practical aspect of capturing celestial objects. Capturing the Milky Way is one of the most rewarding experiences for astrophotographers. Start by scouting a dark sky location, as light pollution can significantly detract from your images. Use light pollution maps to identify optimal spots in your area. Once you've found your ideal site, frame the Milky Way against an interesting foreground element, like a mountain, tree, or even a historic building. This composition adds depth and context to your shot, creating a stunning contrast against the starry sky. For the best results, set your camera to a wide aperture, around f2.8, adjust your shutter speed according to the 500 rule, and select an appropriate ISO. You may need to take several test shots to find the ideal exposure that showcases the vibrant colors of the Milky Way. The moon is one of the most accessible and fascinating subjects for astrophotography. Whether capturing its craters or phases, shooting the moon requires different techniques than deep sky imaging. Start with a telephoto lens or telescope to reveal intricate details. 
Set your camera to ISO 100 or lower to minimize noise and allow for a faster shutter speed, as the moon is much brighter than other celestial objects. Use a shutter speed of about 1 125th to 1 500th seconds to prevent overexposure. Consider capturing the moon during its phases for dramatic shadowing effects, revealing the surface texture in stunning detail. The first and last quarters are often the best times for lunar photography due to the angle of sunlight illuminating the surface. When it comes to capturing planets, a telescope is usually necessary. Planets appear as small disks rather than points of light, so your goal is to achieve the highest magnification possible. To capture sharp images of planets, use a high-speed video capture technique. This involves recording several short videos, 30 seconds or so, of the planet, which can then be stacked together using software like Registax or Autostackert. Stacking enhances detail and reduces noise, resulting in a more polished final image. Deep sky astrophotography offers the most challenges but also the greatest rewards. Capturing galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters requires longer exposures, precise tracking, and often multiple images for stacking. Begin by selecting your target object and using a star chart or astronomy app to locate it in the night sky. When using a telescope, attach your camera and ensure your mount is aligned for accurate tracking. Expose your images for several minutes, stacking them together afterward to enhance detail and reduce noise. Consider using narrowband filters to capture specific wavelengths of light from nebulae, revealing stunning colors and details often hidden in standard imaging. With your images captured, it's time to bring them to life through post-processing. This phase is where your creativity can truly shine, enhancing your images and bringing out their full potential. Start by importing your images into software like Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop. Begin with basic adjustments, such as cropping and straightening your images. Correct any lens distortions and adjust the exposure, contrast, and white balance to achieve a natural look. Astrophotography often introduces noise, especially at higher ISOs or longer exposures. Use noise reduction tools in your software to smooth out graininess while retaining essential details. Be careful not to overdo it, as excessive noise reduction can create an unnatural appearance. For deep sky images, stacking is essential. Use programs like Deep Sky Stacker to align and combine your images, improving clarity and reducing noise. After stacking, you can bring the final image into Lightroom or Photoshop for further adjustments. Astrophotography often involves subtle colors that may need enhancement. Use selective color adjustments to bring out the vibrancy of nebulae or galaxies. Experiment with saturation and vibrant sliders to create the desired look while maintaining a natural feel. After all adjustments, zoom in to check for any final tweaks. Make any necessary adjustments to sharpness and clarity. Save your final image in high resolution for printing or sharing online, ensuring you have a backup of the original files. Astrophotography is a rewarding pursuit that requires patience, practice, and passion. By mastering your gear, understanding the techniques, and honing your post-processing skills, you can capture the wonders of the universe in stunning detail. Remember that every photograph is a learning experience. Don't be afraid to experiment, make mistakes, and push your creative boundaries. The night sky is full of secrets, waiting for you to uncover them. As you embark on this cosmic journey, we encourage you to share your experiences and images with the Adisla community. Join us as we explore the beauty of the universe together. Happy shooting, and may your nights be filled with inspiration and wonder.